Today, we take you to meet Portuguese composer Fernando Antonio dos Sanch. In Portugal, he was an accomplished piano composer. Three years ago, he moved to Taiwan with his Taiwanese wife. His combined love for music and culture led him to open a cafe serving classic Portuguese delicacies with, you guessed it, live piano shows. Our very own Stephanie Yang sat down with Docente in his eatery to find out more. <music> Dos Sanchez's fingers fly across the piano. He takes turns playing the piano as well as the guzhen, one of the oldest Chinese musical instruments. Dos Sanchez once visited Taroka Gorge and met with Ami's musicians. After his visit, he fell in love with the scenery and culture of the place. Therefore, he decided to capture the memories he had of Taroko in this piece. You can almost hear the sounds of the water and birds chirping. I tried to bring the, the movement of the, the waves of the sea, and I tried to bring the chant of the, the birds in the Taroko. It was totally improvised. I, 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 even I, I, have, I composed many musics, a lot of music, and I can write these music for other musicians to play. But I never played the same, the music the same way, because they really have to be kept alive. Dosanch was born in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and grew up in Portugal. He started studying music when he was five years old. Dosanch was a composer for several iconic Portuguese television productions of the 1990s. With a career spanning for decades, Dosanch was one of the youngest producers in Portugal at the time he started out. He credits his success to learning from a few of his mentors in the music industry, never giving up and having a thirst for learning. And I was very young. I was uh, like uh, 20, 21. I learned with the, the teachers in that time. There was no real schools to learn these things. So my masters was two great sound engineers. José Forte and uh, the maestro Jorge Costa Pinto. They were really big. Dos Santos met his Taiwanese wife in Portugal, and the two decided to move to Taiwan in 2020. Two years later, Dos Santos decided to open up a cafe that served traditional Portuguese food, such as clams and Portuguese coffee. Dos Santos said he first learned how to cook with his grandmother. This formerly abandoned space in Banchao was torn up and renovated by hand by Dos Sanch. The furniture was made by Dos Sanch using old wood and corks to transform it into chairs, tables and other furniture. She teach me how to cook the basic, very young, like seven, uh, my, to me, me, eight, around eight years old. That this food is as healthy as the food I give to, to Susan and Rafael, daughter and son or to my family, or to my mother, or to, or, because that's what my grandmother made. She made the food to, that we uh, would eat, that was tasty, but the, she wants us to grow healthy. So it's the same concept. I tried to use the, some woods that were in the shop, so I used the re, um, everything I could use to recycle, reuse, or recycle in another object. Cut a little piece of the bread. Big enough for you don't uh, put your fingers inside the sauce. Now you dip here, so very clean. It's okay, don't touch. Okay, now you can eat. Mm. Though his food is delicious, he believes the strongest dish he serves is his piano playing, and he often invites others to join in with him. Well, you have the right. He says that his patrons first enter his eatery as customers, but later quickly become his lifelong friends. Just, I was taking a walk the other night and I found this place. So I came in, talked to Fernando, he shared with me his place. And then place, he brought you know? me back the next day <laughs> and then we were playing music together. Yeah. You know? 
We became real close friends <laughs> in two days. The use of the white wine in this sauce is amazing. Garlic and ginger, the parsley. I mean, it's very similar to what we have in Taiwan, but I guess we got the magic touch from Portugal here, so it's, it's absolutely delicious. I try and we try to give to this place what was not here. And um, in the beginning, uh, since now we are very happy, our clients, we, I think we cannot, I think we don't have clients. We have clients the first hour or two hours they come in, they are clients, but after a very, they are our friends. Dusanj hopes that the Bistro Cafe can help connect people of all cultures and backgrounds and bridge the gap between Taiwan and Portugal. From being a composer and now a chef, Dusanj hopes to continue to use his talents to introduce Portugal and music to more people around the world. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Li Yihan in Taipei.